Fusion is what makes stars hot. What's going on in the center of all stars is small nuclei of atoms are being joined together to make bigger ones. It's a process we would like to harness to power the Earth. Fusion's been a long time coming. Uh, it's taken a long time to get where we are, but we can actually do fusion. And we've just you know, always been at the innovative frontier of fusion. So the, the, the fusion reaction that we'd really like to do, or we do in fact in, in, in JET, is a reaction between two isotopes of, of hydrogen, deuterium and tritium. Deuterium is heavy hydrogen, tritium is sort of super heavy hydrogen, and we want to join them together to make helium, and with it lots of energy. JET is a very large device. I mean, if you stand next to it, you're dwarfed by its scale. JET is um, a device that has a, a radius of three meters, but in order to get to the stage where we can actually burn a plasma, fully self-sustained fusion, we have to go to the next stage, which is ITER. ITER is twice the size of JET. Really, an enormous device. The bigger we make the device, the more perfect the, the confinement of the plasma. And therefore, as we get to bigger devices, the fusion performance goes up and up. It's very important in motivating people in a lab like Cullum to constantly be showing progress, to be moving towards the final goal. One of the challenges of, uh, of fusion research is that it's not, it, it's not one thing. It's engineering, it's theoretical physics, it's experimental physics, it's material science, and you've got to put all these things together to make the eventual product. And it's a challenge for somebody like me, who spent their whole career doing calculations, to you know, really integrate with you know, engineers, fitters, people just working on the machine. I've worked my life trying to understand what the hell's going on inside hot plasmas. Hot plasmas in the cosmos, hot plasmas in fusion experiments and they wriggle, they shake, they move around and describing what that is and how that works has been sort of my life's work. JET produces a magnetic cage that holds the hot plasma. The shape of that magnetic cage turns out to be very important and JET chose exactly right and it's that shaping of the cage and the flexibility of the design that's meant that JET has continued to innovate from 1983. I mean, we're heading on one more year to 30 years of operation on JET, every year getting better. The flagship of the UK program is an innovative device called MAST. We evolved the design of what we call the spherical top mag that really has remarkable properties. Some of the innovations that we're uh, introducing in the MAST program will allow us to bring down the cost and the scale of fusion to a more manageable size, making the, the, the development of the, the first commercial reactor easier and something that, that will be within our grasp. I don't like to do research alone. I love doing it with young people because they're enthusiastic about it, they're learning about it, they're working hard, and together, you know, I feel like I'm passing on something, but I also feel like I'm getting a tremendous amount out of it. And the most enjoyable things that I've ever done, it's the moments of discovery. The moments when you're doing a calculation and you say, yeah, yeah, that must be right. That just looks right, it just feels right, it seems to be exactly what the experiment is doing. It's great to just be amongst it. Just to be there, to see the results happen, to have the experiments perform, it's not just your ideas, it's everybody else's ideas, it's the collective effort. This award of the Glazebrook Medal is an award for Cullum. Here in South Oxfordshire is a world leading scientific institution. And I'm very proud about that. I mean, it, I'm lucky to lead the organisation. I'm very lucky to have an extraordinarily strong, clever, motivated, skillful set of people working at, at Cullum. And, you know, we'll be there at the finishing line. We'll be there when fusion is actually a power source that people get some of their electricity from. We hope you have enjoyed this video and for more videos go to freakphysics.com.